please tell me you got the Frisbee before you fell. <laughs> exactly why I never leave the house without my wingsuit. That's Kyle. And his only mistake was not realizing he weighs more than a squirrel. <laughs> Too bad his accident didn't happen at a water park. They'd have settled for millions, and the water would have been a lot warmer on account of its 90% piss. He's not the only one that should be dead. I'm always jumping from crazy heights on vacation in third world countries. Why? Uh, because I don't want them to think Americans are pussies. You're welcome. <laughs> Nothing in nature is as entertaining as watching TV. If you're craving adrenaline so badly, text your ex-girlfriend, I miss you. <laughs> Movies like Avatar and Fern Gully always make trees look so innocent. Sure, they're pretty and create oxygen, but they also get in the way of condo developments and new highways. And let's not forget, the number one cause of forest fires is forest. <laughs> Don't let Hollywood's liberal pro-tree agenda fool you. Trees are bad news. That's why I flew Kyle to the concrete jungle, where all our trees are just cell phone towers wearing disguises in this week's Web Redemption. After just 42 months of work, I was finally ready to show Kyle what my design team and I had made for him. Okay, Kyle, are you ready to see your new treehouse? No peeking, cover your eyes. This is as far as my arm bends. All right, fine. It's your very own handicap accessible treehouse, close to the ground so it's safe for now. It'll get about a half inch higher every year depending on rainfall. Now get up here and check out these vistas. We gave you the handicap chair. Feels like my ass is being ripped apart. Uh-huh. Oh, by the way, you're gonna need to tent this tree immediately. Riddled with termites. We picked a bad host tree. Kyle, where are you from? Vancouver, Washington. Why do they call it Vancouver when there's a much better Vancouver, like, less than two hours away? Honestly, I'm not really sure. You ever been to the real Vancouver? Nah. Beautiful. You like Asians? Uh... <laughs> Tons of Asians. How old are you? I'm 21. What kind of tree did you fall out of? I think it was an evergreen. It was a hickory. Hickory, yeah, hickory, I think. Tell me exactly what happened that day. It was like the first day of summer, so um, we just went out there, slammed about seven beers, um, was jumping out of the tree. How many branches do you think he hit on the way down? <laughs> it certainly wasn't the ugly tree. You're knocked unconscious, correct? No, I was conscious the whole time. Oh, but... you can take a hit. <laughs> and then they put you in a coma? Um, yeah, medically induced for a day and a half, yep. Did you wake up with a catheter in your dick? Uh, twice. Not <laughs> my favorite experience. No. <laughs> Apparently it's normal for your balls to swell up to, like, cantaloupe size, and oh, I didn't think that You don't need to brag, there. but I get you. <laughs> oh, it's annoying, but if I let him finish, I'm gonna have a great glory hole. <laughs> so what was the list of your injuries? I... Completely shattered my elbow, compound fractured it, bruised and collapsed lung. I was spitting up blood the whole time I was there. My Achilles tendon was out, they could see it. I hit my lower back and then my pelvis broke out that way, kind of in three places. I have six screws and a plate right here and then another one that goes in through my left butt cheek. All right. <laughs> Will you ever have full mobility? It's very doubtful, but they were doubting that I was going to be able to keep my arm in the first place. Where, when keep I got, your arm? Yeah. They, they, they thought gonna... they were amputating? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. You smoke pot? <laughs> All right, time out. <laughs> because I would think that pot would uh, actually help that situation. I was on so many painkillers, and I actually used pot to wean off of you know, See? all the... A lot of people don't talk about how it's a gateway drug to get off of other drugs. Have you tried heroin? I have not. Oh, that's, where, that's what you gotta get to. <laughs> nah. You'll be back up on that tree in no time. <laughs> you ever drink fresh pine syrup? <whistles> yeah. Uh, Kyle, why in the hell should we save the trees when they tried to kill you? I think it's about time we held them accountable and sue trees for everything they're worth. Can you sue a tree? Of course you can sue a tree. Once they legalized gay marriage, the floodgates were open. It's a slippery slope. A very slippery slope. That's the way they like it. All right, next up we have an idiot kid from Washington versus a hickory. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the facts of this case are, okay, objection. This juror is obviously a plant. Drop me 90 feet onto solid rock. I should be dead. You're brave. And is the tree that did this 
in the courtroom? Yes. Would you point them out? Let the record show that my client can't point. I'd like to call a secret witness. Who is it? Your Honor, if I tell you, it won't be a secret, will it? <laughs> Does she look familiar? She's not even 18. <laughs> Just a sapling. If it pleases the court, I'd like to do a little soft shoe. Watch yourself, counselor. I'll allow it, because I want to see where you're going with this. You see the blood? Your Honor, I object. He's just wasting paper made for my client's family. Strike that. Motion for a recess. Motion granted. Ah! At this point, the prosecution request a tree and A test. Uh, May I remind you that you are under oak? Ladies and gentlemen, trees are very shady. They dump leaves on our yards and branches on our cars. One in four women have been assaulted by a tree. In conclusion, this tree's bark is as bad as his bite. The defense rests. You're the prosecution. Sustained. <laughs> After wasting hours of my life and thousands of taxpayer dollars, it is the opinion of this court that you can't sue a f***ing tree. Oh. Case dismissed. <laughs> All right, $50 fine for cutting a tree without a permit. I see the clerk on your way out. Yeah! I'll give you a million dollars if you can tell me off the top of your head when Arbor Day is. Last Friday in April. <laughs>